Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, if like me, you waste an hour doing research and scrolling forums and Google trying to find what code you need, what code pad you need to replace your Shimano disc pads, then this video might be for you. All the different codes you need if you have 105, Ultegra or Dura Ace, Shimano road brake calipers, and it should save you all the time and wasted time that I do every time I need to replace the bloody brake pads, which is actually quite often. So I'll put up a little table of all the all the codes you can buy if you want to skip this part, but let's have a little discussion. Uh, first of all, resin versus sintered, what is the difference? Resin, a uh, slightly higher friction coefficient, will wear out quicker, but are kinder to the disc. Sintered, well these are fused like metal powder based compounds. They're much harder, they're longer, longer lasting, but they will chew up the disc slightly more, so you need to balance that out. They're probably a bit more consistent across dry and wet conditions. In resin pads, my experience is, is in, in the wet, they're vastly different to how they perform in the dry. And actually next time we're gonna try sintered. Fin pads or not fin pads, well the Shimano by default come with a heat, little heat sink and they have fins on the pad for cooling. I've tried both, I can't notice any difference even on longer fence. The non-fin pads are about half the price and since the first set of fin pads I got rid of, I've never gone back to using fin pads. I've always just used the standard steel back pads, so that would be my suggestion to you. So let's get into what Shimano pads you can buy for your replacements and go through all the codes. L02A, L03A, L04C, K02S, K03S, and K04S. Now let's start with the fin pads. LO2A is the original fin pad, which is a resin compound. That's been dis discontinued and replaced with LO3A. That's the current resin compound and it's designed to last, let, they say, 40% longer than LO2A. So you can't actually buy LO2A anymore. LO4C is the same finned backing, but with a sintered compound. So that'll last slightly longer, be a bit more reliable across all conditions, or a bit more consistent at least, slightly less grabby, but will chew up the disc, but should last a, long, a lot longer. Now, my personal favorites are the non-finned ones. They are basically half the price of the finned ones, and I can't notice any difference in the heat loss. They're steel-backed, and they do last a fair while. Just like the finned ones, KO2S has been discontinued. That's been replaced with KO3S. That's the current resin-based non-finned non pad. And then the sintered one is KO4S. So that's the sintered pad which is non-fin. So those two are your kind of go-tos. I, I probably, I just wouldn't advise the fin ones. They're a bit of a waste of money. The fin ones, you're looking at like 50 quid for a full set front and rear. And considering how fast, especially in muddy conditions or like grimy conditions in winter, you go through disc brake pads, 50 quid a time, that's not cool. So I always choose the non-fin ones. And personally, I go with the K KO4S because it's almost as cheap to replace the discs than it is the, the pads with these finned ones. So KO3 or KO4S are my, my go-tos. Others of noteworthy recommendation, Clark's, always quite a reliable bike brand for spares. I've used their mountain bike pads loads in the past, never had a problem. So I've just ordered a set of Clark's VRX, which are the Clark's sintered pad. These will fit 105 Dura Ace Ultegra, and their resin version is Clark's VX. Now these are dirt cheap, these are £2.50, you know, with a discount versus like 15 quid for the even the non finned Shimano resin pad. So you can just get through. they might not last very long they might be super grabby and wear out very quickly but the £2.50 the Clark's VX resin pad or the Clark's VRX sinter pad which is slightly more expensive is a good deal so try Clark's other ones I've just about to try are Swiss Stop Silver now these are actually cheaper for me for some reason online than the Shimano even non-fin cheaper pads. So I've gone with Swiss Stop Silver, Sintered, trying, trying them out. That's just my little summary of all the pads you could try. If I've missed any out down below, let me know in the comments. Give the video a like and subscribe. Also, I haven't included any kind of Amazon or cheap eBay ones because frankly, they're probably not worth it and they probably fall apart. And that's the last thing you want to happen to your pads. I've had it in mountain bikes where you've been going down a hill and the pads got so hot, the pad compound has actually cracked away from the backing and fallen out. And that's pretty much a disaster. Cheers, see you next time.